As long as they are part of a balanced diet, Animal Wise provides the best vegetables recommended for dogs, as well as their benefits. Spinach. This vegetable can help our dog to regulate their intestinal transit thanks to its high fiber content. It is also rich in vitamins A, C, E, B and F. It should be offered in moderation due to its oxalic acid content, something which can promote the presence of urinary stones when combined with calcium and methemoglobinemia when combined with nitrates. It needs to be washed well before serving, preferably steamed and chopped into pieces. Dogs with kidney problems or anemia should not eat spinach. Peas. They contain a large amount of protein and fiber, as well as very little fat. They promote intestinal transit and help maintain the dog's health in its best condition. It's advisable to offer them steamed, alone as a treat, or mixed with other ingredients in case of giving the dog homemade food. If your dog is more prone to swallowing whole than chewing, peas may act as a choking hazard. Lettuce and cabbage. Both leafy vegetables are rich in iron, antioxidants, and have different vitamins. Before giving these products to the dog, we must also wash and chop them to avoid possible choking. They can be given either raw or steamed. Celery. This is beneficial in moderate amounts when washed and finely chopped. It is also a powerful natural antioxidant which can help avoid and fight disease. It is a diuretic and digestive aid which can help strengthen the dog's immune system. It is ideal for dogs with arthritis as it may help reduce their pain. You can provide this vegetable raw or prepare it as a juice. Give it to your dog once a month, in the morning and on an empty stomach. Green beans. Rich in vitamins A and C and with antioxidant, digestive and energetic properties, these legumes are highly beneficial for our dogs in moderate amounts. They should be offered boiled or steamed. Carrot. These are rich in beta-carotene, standing out for their ability to benefit vision and the immune system. It is also an ideal food to stop diarrhea in dogs, as well as strengthening their teeth and preventing tartar buildup. It is best offered boiled or steamed, but it can be given raw to help promote dental health by abrading tooth plaque. Discover more about the benefits of carrots for dogs in the video we share on the card above. Pumpkin. It is most recommended for dogs suffering from constipation. It's rich in fiber and has antioxidant and diuretic properties. Moderate amounts of peeled, chopped and de-seeded pumpkin can be steamed or boiled for the dog. Broccoli and cauliflower. Both vegetables are loaded with vitamins and minerals. They help aid digestion and promote a healthy lifestyle. It is best to cook them boiled or steamed, but they can also eat small raw pieces with stems removed. Zucchini. In moderate amounts, zucchini is an excellent vegetable for dogs due to its large amount of water, vitamins, fiber and minerals, as well as its low caloric intake. It contains cucurbitacins, a compound that can be toxic in excessive amounts. It is best to remove the skin and the stem before washing and giving to the dog. It can be offered raw, cooked, steamed, baked or pureed for constipated dogs. Potato. This tuber is often found on lists of toxic foods for dogs due to the solanine present in the green parts of the product. However, peeling the potato, removing all the green parts and cooking it reduces the solanine and makes it a suitable food. Sweet potato. It is an excellent source of carbohydrates, vitamins A, C and D, as well as potassium and phosphorus. Occasionally as a reward or snack, or as part of the homemade diet following the instructions of a professional, it's a very good vegetable for dogs should be offered peeled and cooked, but never raw. How to give vegetables to your dog? Dogs are halfway between carnivores and omnivores, so it is recommended that only 10 to 20% of the dog's daily diet should contain fruits and vegetables. The vegetables will have to be washed and chopped. If you don't do this, they can provide a choking hazard. It's not advisable to give natural fruits and vegetables more than once or twice a week, or always provide the same type of produce. Varying them will provide the most benefit. If you want to continue learning about feeding dogs, don't miss the playlist we share here. Do you feed vegetables to your dog? Let us know by leaving a comment and we'll see you next time.